Hi, welcome to Positive Energy for Life. Yoga with Dr. Amy J and my fantastic assistants. We have Ray and we have Angie. Angie will be doing modifications for you and Ray will be doing yoga without the modifications. Remember at any point that you need to use modifications, how important it is. It's really good to have props like blocks or straps and definitely keep water around just in case you get thirsty. So today our intention is to work the core. We're going to be doing different poses that really work your core. At any point, and remember that you need to slow down or you need to change the pose, feel free to watch what Angie's doing. I will be doing a little bit of this and a little bit of that. So get ready to have some fun and let's start yoga. So really it's important to just ground yourself for a moment. So we're just going to take a few moments with our legs crossed. Remember, you can always do a modification with your leg out, both legs out. I do not suggest laying on your back because you'll probably fall asleep and we want to be awake for this segment. So nice and easy, just take a few moments. You can close your eyes or not and focus on your breathing. And while you're focusing on your breathing, think of something that you are really grateful for today. And allow that to exude through your whole body. Feeling the freedom, feeling the lightness. Good, nice and easy, we're gonna open our eyes, come back into awareness and back into the room. We're gonna inhale our arms up halfway. Relax our shoulders down and hold. Nice and easy, we're gonna take a spinal twist to the left, warming ourselves up, getting our spine moving. And slowly, we're gonna just twist it to the right. Allow yourself to bring your hand in the back of your spine so you're not rounded. We wanna use this to lengthen. Grab onto the knee and use that hand on the knee to help twist you a little deeper and further and feel free to look over your shoulder. Nice, take it back center. Nice and easy, we're gonna roll it forward, arms are shoulder width and just melt forward, dropping your belly button into the floor, low, opening up your low back and stretching through the mid and upper back. Beautiful, gently walk your hands back and as a quick warm up, we're gonna bring our arms up, clasp our hands, Exhale, round the back, take it in front. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, round it down. Four more. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, take it down. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, take it down. Two more. Up. Exhale, take it down. One more. Up. Exhale, take it down. Inhale, take it up. You're going to release your hands. Take your hands behind your head. Slowly bring your elbows together, right? And you want to try to keep your upper arms parallel to the shoulders. And inhale, open up. If you like, as you exhale, allow your head to drop. Obviously, your elbows and upper arms will drop too. Exhale again, and while you're doing this, tighten those abs, and as you inhale, open up, let it go. Exhale, belly button through the spine. Inhale, open it up. Hey you guys, two more. Ready? Exhale. Round it. Inhale. Fill that belly out with good air. Exhale. Let go of anything that doesn't serve you. Inhale. Open it up. Nice job. Bring your hands down to the side. Let's just do a neck stretch when you work your abs. A lot of times we pull on our necks. We're going to really focus on keeping at least fist apart, chin from the chest, okay? So just take your arm to the, your hand to the top of the head and just give yourself a nice stretch on the neck and hold. Good, release it. And then slowly take it to the other side. Beautiful, release it. Now we're gonna take our left ear to the left shoulder and slowly we're just gonna roll it around the chest halfway until you hit your right shoulder and hold it there. And one more time, let's take it down and around and take it back to that shoulder. Gently bring your head back center. All right, ready to go? You guys, let's turn. We're going to go on all fours. Knees are apart. The first thing we're going to do, make sure that your shoulders are all over your wrist, hips right above your knees. We've been talking about this a lot. 
We're just gonna lift our right leg hip height, right, right here. You're gonna press the heel back. A lot of us like to point the toes. When you flex, and remember, everything I say are suggestions, so do what works for you. We're gonna hold this for a minute, right? And you wanna make sure your abdominals are tight. Good, nice and easy, slowly take it down. Let's go to the left leg and lift. Really tighten, press that heel back, and you should be feeling this in the lower portion of your abdominals. So hold it, good, awesome. Nice, take it down. Good, this time we're gonna lift the right leg again, press that heel back, really contract that leg, and we're gonna lift our left arm. Good, from here, working our abs a little bit, we're gonna take that right knee in, and grab on, it's also a slight balance. And then take it out again. Nice, two more, take it in. And take it out again. And take it in. And take it out. So right here, we're gonna take our left hand down to the floor, keep your right leg up, curl the toes of the left leg. And Andrew, you could use some modifications here if you need to take that leg down. And with a modification, you could take your foot down. Otherwise, we're going to push it back to three-legged dog. And just for fun, let's just open the hip, right, like we did the other day. Stack your hips, hold it. Good. Take it back to three-legged dog. We're going to roll it to a plank, pulling your knee in center and hold. Nice. Slowly. Take it down, take it back to three-legged dog. Good, roll it forward to the center again. Good, keep your ears aligned with the shoulders, good. And any time that you get tired, like Andrew's doing, feel free to drop the knee down, lift again, push it back to three-legged dog. So we're gonna challenge you, do what you can do. We're gonna pull that right knee in and we're gonna take it to the outside of the right elbow. Good, and we're gonna pull it in as much as we can. Good, nice. Now take it to the inside of the right elbow. Hold it, breathe, give it everything you got. Take it to the inside of the left elbow. Breathe, nice. Take it to the outside of the left elbow. Beautiful, hold it, hold it. Push back to your three-legged dog. Good, if you wanna take a moment and you wanna take that leg down, do that. Otherwise, ready, third set. This time we're gonna roll it forward to plank, Pulling that knee into the center first. Center of your arms, take it forward. Good, hold it there, nice. Take it to the outside of the right elbow. Take it to the inside of the right elbow. Take it to the inside of the left elbow. Take it to the outside of the left elbow. Awesome, push it back to your three-legged dog. Slowly take that right leg down and bring your knees down, allow yourself to relax into a child's pose. Good job, how you guys doing? Good. Feel a little challenged, yeah. right? So life's full of challenges. We're going to have ups, we're going to have downs. It's working through it, doing what you can, respecting where you are and honoring your body. If you need to take a break, take a break. Okay, ready? We have two sides. Yay. Let's work the second side. Take it to your all fours. You're going to lift the left leg, hip height, and just hold it. Good, hold it. Nice. Good and slowly take it down. Beautiful. You're gonna lift the left leg again and hold it. Press that heel back so you really contract and really feel it through your abs, good. And now lift your right arm and hold. Good, slowly we're gonna bring in that knee, grab onto the knee, bring the nose to the knee and hold. Nice, take it back out. Beautiful, take it in again. You guys are doing awesome. See if you can grab that knee. Otherwise, like Angie's doing, keep both hands on the floor. Take it out again. And breathe. Take it in last time. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Good. Take it out. Keep your left leg up. Right hand comes down to the floor. You're going to curl the toes of the right leg and push yourself back to three-legged dog. Good. While we're here, allow your knee to soften. And slowly just open up that hip. Nice hip opener. You're stacking one hip on top of the other. Nice. Take it back to three-legged dog. You guys ready? Let's work that core. Nice and easy. Pull the knee in center and hold it. And you take your body to plank. Good. Push it back to three-legged dog. Nice. 
and take it in. Left leg comes to the outside of the left elbow. Inside of the left elbow. Nice. Inside of the right elbow. Inside of the left elbow. And take it back to your three-legged dog. Try to bring it as close to that elbow as you can. Last round, you guys ready? You're gonna take it forward, but bring the knee center first. Good, hold it there. Nice. Take it to the outside of the left elbow. Take it to the inside. I try to bring it as close to that elbow as I can. Inside of the right elbow. Outside of the right elbow. Maybe you wanna lift it. If you're back here, bring it a little closer. Push back to your three-legged dog. Good, slowly take your foot down, take the knees down. Allow yourself to rest in child's pose, and this time just bring your arms to your side and take a moment. Beautiful. Nice and easy, take it to all fours. You guys doing good? <laughs> you guys doing good? Okay, we're gonna take it to the forearms. We're gonna take it to dolphin pose. Dolphin pose is a downward dog, but on your forearms. You're gonna curl your toes under, and you're slowly gonna push it back. You might have to walk your feet in a little. Press the heels down as much as you can. Again, you wanna make sure you're using your abdominal muscles. And hold. So we're gonna to have to slide the feet back a little to take it to plank. You want your shoulders over the elbows, and hold it. Tighten your abs, lift your right leg couple inches above the floor, hip height, hold it, hold it, nice, bend the knee, nice, straighten the knee, take it down, hold it, really strengthening the arms, lift the left leg, toes towards the floor, hold it, hold it, good, bend the knee, hold it, hold it, really working the legs here too, take it straight, gently take it down, walk your feet in, and allow yourself to open up those shoulders, pulling slowly back into dolphin pose. Good, let's go one more. This time we're gonna get rid of that bend. Feet are a couple inches apart. Tighten your abs, lift your leg and hold. Good, nice, take it down. And lift your opposite leg and hold your left leg, good. Breathe, you wanna make sure your abs are nice and tight. Good, take it down. Nice, walk your hands to your palms. Nice, you can drop your knees if you need. Push back to downward dog. Walk or float forward to prepare. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come up, you guys are doing awesome. And exhale, give me a chair one more time. So chair, when we're doing the proper motion, right, and not just leaning forward, you have to tighten your abs almost like you're doing a sit-up, right? So here, we're gonna take our hands behind our head, chin stays up, in our chair, you're gonna slowly take your body halfway down. So my upper body's parallel to the floor. On an inhale, I'm gonna squeeze my butt, tighten my abs, and lift up and straighten my legs. Nice. Let's take it into chair again, shift back. Exhale, take your upper body parallel to the floor. On an inhale, take it up and straighten your legs. Give me two more, you guys. Take it to chair, you're doing awesome. Good, and you can keep your hands behind your head for this one. And I would lift up a little bit and bring your chest forward. So lift up from here, lift, 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 yeah. Tighten the abs, good. Slowly, we're gonna take it halfway Upper body's parallel to the floor. Open your elbows. Nice, soften your knees. Inhale, come up all the way. One more. Yew! <laughs> Good, let it go. Let's take it back to chair. Hold it, elbows open. Good, chin is up. Nice and easy. Take your body, your upper body parallel to the floor. Nice, flatten your back, beautiful. Nice, and softly take it up. So you're tightening those abs, straighten the legs. You guys feel that? Yeah. Good, bring your arms down. Let's take it into Dadasan. Mountain pose, so your arms come to the side. Take your palms nice so they're forward, they face forward. Roll your shoulders open. Nice. Okay, so nice and easy. We're gonna take it down to our knees. 
You guys ready? We're going to walk our hands over to the left for a nice final twist again. Good. You want to be on the balls of your feet. Look over the left hand, over the left shoulder, and slowly let's walk it to the other way. Nice. And hold it here. Good. Take it back center. Bring your hands behind you. Slowly take it to a seated pose. So we're going to take it to bow pose, which we've done before, right? We're going to grab on to the thighs. Now, behind the thighs. The really important part here is if your body goes down this much, you want to pull it up, use your hand. Your body should be in a V. Ready? So you might want to keep your knees bent to show them the modifications. Come down when you need. Ready? So first we're going to lift. Just stay here first. Work on pulling your shoulders back and your belly button forward. Hold. Good. Then when you're ready, release the arms. The next step is straightening it out when you're ready. And hold. Nice. Holding here, pull your knees in and hold it. We're not going to drop our feet to the floor. Breathe. Nice. Take it out again and hold. And slowly take it in. You're going to give me two more, all right? Take it out and hold it for four counts. Three, two, and slowly take it in. Breathe here for four, three, two, and one more. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Take it in. Don't drop your feet. Four, three, two, and one. Nice. Drop your feet. Give me that child's pose as you're seated. Pull in on your shins. Pull your belly button forward. Give yourself a nice big smile. Actually, your smile is the best wrinkle in your whole body. Good. And hold. Nice. Bring your knees together. All right, you guys, we're going to come to the back. You're going to hug your knees into the chest. Okay, we're going to lift our legs up. And again, modification. You could keep your feet on the floor or gently take it up or work with one leg than the other, okay? Heels up, hands behind your head. This is the important part. Remember that fist I talked about from your chin to your chest? This is what I see all the time. I want you to focus on lifting your shoulder blades off the floor. So let's do that first. Nice, hold. Chin off your chest, look up, straighten the diagonal, hold it, four more. Lift a little bit higher, two. Nice, take it down, hug your knees into the chest. You guys are doing awesome. Okay, we're gonna add on, ready? Bottoms of the feet come up to the ceiling. Right, hands come behind your head, and very slowly and gently, you're going to lift into an abdominal sit-up. Okay, for this one, your right leg's going to stay up, your left leg's going to come just a couple of inches above the floor. Hold it. Nice. Take it back up. Beautiful. And hold. Three more. Two more. Good. Left leg stays up, right leg a couple of inches above the floor. Hold it. This is a great modification, okay? Good, take them both up. Good, nice and easy. And if Angie wanted to, she could keep her feet here, right? We'll show you one there. One more time, right? Ready? Right foot stays up, left foot comes a couple inches above the floor. So she can keep it on the floor and pull it in. Nice, both legs come up. Nice, breathe. Left leg stays up, right leg a couple inches above the floor. Hold it. Hold it. Beautiful. Take it up. Nice. And hug your knees into your chest. Take your upper body down. Okay, we're going to add on one more part to this. You guys are doing awesome. I'm going to show you the, the side version as you watch them. Okay? So nice and easy. Knees come in. Hands come behind the head. Bottoms of your feet up to the ceiling. Okay? Remember, honor your body. Be, near, be where you need to be. Okay, so we're going to lift up. Four counts. Three, two. Right leg stays up, left leg a couple inches above the floor. Hold. Three, two. Good. Both legs come up for four, for three, for two. Left leg stays up, right leg a couple inches apart. For three. Remember, we're going to add on two, 
Lift that body up. Both legs come up. Hold it. Good. Now you're going to open to a straddle. Lift up. Hands behind your head a little bit more. Three, two. Good. Release your head. Reach through that straddle for four, for three. Shoulders off the floor. Two. Good. Keep the straddle. Hands come behind your head. Four more. Three. You're doing great. Anytime you come out, just come back in. Four more legs together. Lift up a little higher. Two more. Nice. Take it down. Hug your knees into your chest. Good job. So at any point that you're doing that, you want to work up towards it. So you do it, and then you stop when you need to. Then you do it a little more. And before you know it, you're going to go, oh my god, I remember when I wasn't able to do that. So nice and easy, you guys. Just bring your feet flat to the floor, the hip bone apart, knees are bent. Palms come flat, walk your shoulders in. I want to just do a little butt squeeze. So lift up a little bit, kind of like you're going into a bridge. But you're going to keep your arms to the side and plant it and hold. Hold it. So if you tighten your abdominals, you should feel it there. You're going to bring your butt halfway down, belly button through the spine, like you're doing a sit up, and you're going to lift as you exhale. Inhale, belly button through the spine. Actually, that's your exhale. Inhale, take it up. Two more. Exhale, belly button through the spine. Inhale, one more. Exhale, take it down, tighten those abs. Inhale, take it up. Gently, take it to the side, to the floor. Relax, hug your knees into your chest. Okay, so now we're gonna do the shift side to side, you guys. So we're gonna work our waist and our obliques. So our knees are bent. You want your knees over your hips, your hips and your body are on the right degree angle. Your knees and your legs are on the right degree angle. So you remember when we did that stretch and we dropped the knees down and held it there. One arm out to each side, really ground yourself, melt your shoulders into the earth and slowly take it to the left or the right, whatever you feel comfortable with. Hold it without dropping those legs down. Inhale, take it center. Exhale, take it the other direction. Don't drop those feet. Nice, or those legs. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, take it to the side. So if you're new at this, you can always take a block, hold it, hold it. You can always take a block right under your knees. Inhale, take it center. Exhale, we're going to take it to the other side. Good, breathe. You're going to give me two more each side. Ready? They can see the block on that side. You guys can see that. Or you can just do it the regular way. Inhale, take it center. Exhale, take it to the left. Good. Inhale, take it center. Good. Exhale, take it the other way. Good job. You guys feel that? Inhale, take it up. Exhale, take it to the left. Beautiful. Your head stays center. Arms are down. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, take it halfway down. Nice. Inhale, now we're going to go into a stretch. Exhale, take it to the left and let your legs drop all the way down. Good. You're going to take your left hand, if you're going to the right, you're going to put it on top of right, your leg, right above the knee, and allow yourself to pull. If you're really flexible, feel free to straighten just the top knee and you pull it in towards you. Good, then look the opposite direction. And I'm gonna push a little more. Bend the knee, Slow. if it's straight, bend the knee, slowly take it center, and take it to the other side. Remove all your toys. Good, and breathe. I really suggest very often, instead of bringing your arms up here because you wanna melt your shoulders into the earth, is take it a little below the shoulders. Very often people like their palms up. I believe that palms down helps plant. You melt your shoulder blades into the earth and you relax. So I'm going to give Angie a little stretch. Good. Look the opposite direction of your knees. Gently. Bring your head back center, your knees back center. And let's hug our knees this time. Right hand on your right knee, left hand on your left and open it to a child's pose on your back. So actually, you know, hold the knees, yeah. Relax this, 
Good, and press down so you'll get a really nice stretch. Beautiful, and breathe. Good. Nice and easy, bring your feet flat to the floor. Good, and just squeeze your butt a little bit. Squeeze, two, so you keep your low back up on the floor. Three, four, five, give me 10. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. You guys just lie there, open your arms and your palms or however you're comfortable. Take your legs straight and let's take it into Shavasana. And just breathe. So taking that moment, this is your gift to take time out for you. Acknowledge that you took this time for you today. Here's an applaud, great job. And go without judgment, go without frustration. Just go doing it, working it, being in it, allowing it to come out of your mind into your heart. <sighs> really give yourself the honor and try to practice this every single day. Pick up different moves, maybe practice one or two moves. It's really good to be open. Being open really helps you to get anywhere that you need to get. Sometimes we feel as if we can't do something. Remember, take off the T. And for today, remember, just as the caterpillar thought its life was over, it became a butterfly. So keep those colors, allow that rainbow to shine over your head, allow yourself to breathe, allow yourself to be with you. Without you, there's no one. Namaste.